Once your embryo transfer is out of the way, you'll be thinking about the next step. Will your uterus accept the embryos? Will you feel anything? A popular question on the fertility forums is, can you do anything to help implantation? Yes, you can. Here are five great tips. First, take time off work around implantation time. Things start happening one to five days after a blastocyst transfer. There's no firm evidence to say doing nothing helps. But in my opinion, taking it easy, watching TV, reducing stress, has got to be beneficial in some way. So try and relax as much as possible. Get your lining in great shape. Implantation can't happen if your endometrial lining is too thin. Eight millimeters or more on transfer day is best. If you're having donor treatment or an FET, your lining should have been checked at least four days before you're due to start your progesterone. That brings me to so-called implantation foods. Here's a reality check. There's no proof pineapple is good for implantation, but that's all over the internet. Some say green tea, raspberry leaves, bananas and tofu help. That's probably nonsense too. Just eat a healthy, balanced diet. Definitely no alcohol and watch your caffeine intake. My fourth suggestion is about progesterone, the drug that makes your uterus super receptive. Your clinic will almost certainly have you on it. But some progesterone supplements are better than others. Talk to your doctor about intramuscular injections. I use these and they were fantastic. Final tip, have a scratch. What I mean by that is the so-called endometrial scratch. It's usually done in the cycle before your treatment. It somehow primes your uterus for implantation and the research is looking rather promising. For more great tips, have a look at our website.